Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. This is top 10 easter eggs on Watopia and the boys decided they thought they wouldn't show me what the easter eggs were so we could have a little bit of a reaction as well and um, well I'll, I'll get the same view as you do on these. So in at number 10, the blimp it's got to be, the Zwift Zeppelin. I've seen this is one thing I have seen in Zwift and any of these that you haven't seen or anything that we've not shown make sure you leave a comment below but yeah I see the the blimp I'm gonna call it I'm sure it's it's a blimp into it you see that floating around everywhere similar to like the Goodyear one that's that's that seems to be world famous I wonder why they don't use blimps anymore though they always remind me of Indiana Jones but there you go that's the uh, the Zwift blimp that flies through the air in Watopia number nine the sun is that the sun dutch corner not necessarily an easter egg here but uh, definitely a tip of the hat to one of the most famous corners in cycling history it's uh, it's dutch corner on abdu abdu zwift or abdu as in real life where the dutch congregate and if you're not in orange you ain't allowed in uh, and this corner gets very raucous when the uh, the riders go up there not so much here you can see a few tents it looks more like the base camp for Everest than it does uh, the world famous Dutch corner but yeah summertime in July that place is rocking number eight it's the hot air balloons and did you know that these colors represent yeah you've guessed it the green jersey the polka dot jersey and the lap jersey did you know that or not I mean I didn't I I I'd forgot that there was a polka dot one and then as soon as I saw the polka dot one I remembered. Because the green one and the orange one could mean anything. But then you see the polka dot and you're like, yeah. That's the, the they signified a three three different jerseys you could take on Zwift. Although there are more and more jerseys coming available nowadays, but yeah, the the hot air balloon's probably one of the most popular Easter egg that, that most people will have seen. Number seven, the mountain goat. I have never seen the mountain goat before. I mean, that's what you get on your jersey, don't you, when you go up here. Is that it there, right at the end? No way. That's amazing. I hope he's going to stop here next week so we can see it. Look at that. Hey. All right, lad. I have never seen that. Look at that. Oh, Vic's never going to make it as a cameraman, is he? That's it. Get further away so we can see less of it. Yeah, yeah, now we can't see it at all. Oh, he's looking at the banner, isn't he? Look, there's a mountain goat on the banner, and that mountain goat must have to sit there all day, every day, congratulating people coming across. Petrol station squirrel. I've never seen this one either. Where is it? Does it supply you with gas? What is it? I've, I mean, I've seen the petrol station. There it is. Look on top. Ah, oh, that rings a bell now. I think I remember, I remember people talking about that. Oh, it's off. When... Um, when Zwift was um, was only a baby. I remember people used to mention that squirrel there. In at number five is aliens everywhere. Aliens? Oh, the aliens, the running aliens. Why do people call them aliens? That looks like an aero helmet to me. They're symbols, they're not aliens, they're symbols. They're just, they're just monuments, I guess, for cyclists and runners. Pretty impressive, really, though. I, I kind of like them as, as structures, as, as pieces of art. Not exactly an Easter egg that you won't have come across the Hans Wift if you've ever ridden Watopia. Chances are you've seen them. Oh, wait, up. A sloth in the jungle. I have seen this. I remember stopping one day after a ride and the, the sloth was hanging from one of those, those... I don't know what they are. I want to say bamboo, but it's not bamboo. I know, I know you David Attenborough fans out there will be cursing me now. What is that? Leave a comment below, let me know what that kind of string is. Alright, whoa, 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 stop. There he is. High five for the riders. Right on. Right, I wonder if he actually moves across. That's pretty cool. What other wildlife have you seen in Zwift? Leave a comment below, let me know. I've seen deers about. I can't think of anything else I've seen. That's pretty cool though. Mm -hmm. 
In at number three, the Julia Washington Bridge. We had a discussion about this in the office. Tim offhandedly mentioned it. He just went, you know, the Julia Washington Bridge. I was like, what? She was a lady that, um, I believe, let me get this right, she started the Zwift Riders Facebook group. So yeah, if you're in that group, you've got that young lady to thank. And remember, I, I don't I don't really speak to her anymore as much, but I remember speaking to her when, when the, the community was very, very small and everyone kind of knew each other. But look at that, she got a bridge named after her. What have I got? So here's, here's, a, here's a test for the community within this channel. Pick something in Watopia and we'll name it after me. Pick something good though. The arcade game of Swift, I've never seen this. How do you see that? Where is it? Ah, oh, I've seen the arcade. Oh look, the bike there! No way! How cool is that? I have never seen that. See it on the right hand side of the screen, the blue bike in front of the arcade screen. Hey, could be onto something there. Maybe that's like a little nod to say, we're going back to the 90s kids. We're going back to the old arcades. That's brilliant, that one, I like that. See, it's them type of Easter eggs I like. Hopefully, within this top 10 video, you've seen a few and you've had that same reaction. Oh yeah, I have never seen that. That's kind of impressive, that one. Good work, Vic. I mean, don't milk it, mate. And number one, there's one, there's one more. The Jarvis tree. Again, not an Easter egg if you know about it, but you might not know about it, but that tree was lifted all the way from Jarvis Island, and as its roots were lifted, it all fell apart like it did there, so it's, it made a, it created a perfect semicircle, and they thought, you know what, that'd look good on the new extension on um, Zwift. I bet there's not many people that even know why it's called the Jarvis tree, um, and that's why it's come from Jarvis Island, which was the original beta version of Zwift. If you enjoyed this video, if you've come across any Easter eggs that we've not mentioned within Utopia or anywhere else, leave a comment below and let us know. As ever, hit that subscribe button if you've not done already. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed the video and check out the rest of the videos on the channel.